Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. And so um, what we have here is the Four of Wands, Seven of Cups, and we have this person here, this man holding a rose. And uh, he's looking back. So um, the rose indicates that it is a of a romantic nature, his thoughts, you know. Um, he is waiting, perhaps, on something or someone. Um, or that they feel that they have been patient, maybe, or are trying to be patient. Um... They're looking at a situation, uh, at something uh, they took a decision on in the past. They are wondering uh, if they made the right decision, because this was actually, it came out on its side. I moved it upright, but it, it did come out on, that, on its side. And so um, I feel like that's what's challenging them. You know, it's like what was true and what was false about that uh, in the past. And we see that they are indeed, you're still in separation from this person. And maybe they're trying to uh, find a way to free themselves up from something that is just eating away at them with the mice here. About that situation. I feel like they may have thought uh, something was not right or about the offer. Um, it looks like something made them very angry. It felt like uh, they didn't have all of their answers because there's a mystery that surrounds this. Um, they most likely would have ended this quickly, um, but uh, it's like they jumped the fence. Um, they jumped the fence, but they're looking behind them. Hmm. Um, Maybe uh, they are rethinking that situation. Um, rethinking their decision to leave or not to take that offer. Um, I feel like there's a lot of, or there was a lot of negative thinking back here. Maybe because of something they heard. Yeah, okay, well, I'm going to go to the card at the center, which is the perfumes. And, and it is about... Um, Mm, they could be, they could have thought, because that's what they're looking at. So they could have thought that something, uh, somebody was trying to pull the wool over their eyes, you know, uh, that uh, somebody was being deceptive with them, um, that something wasn't like it appeared to be. I mean, uh, it looked real good on the surface uh smelled real sweet because it is the perfumes um but uh there was something uh that maybe they heard i i keep getting that they heard something uh or were told something by someone uh that changed their mind or opinion or Something changed, something 
that they heard or learned that made them really upset in the moment and uh, they may have uh, ended it abruptly and ran but you know, but they're looking back okay so uh, they're still stuck on this situation there they are still holding the rose so still having very strong feelings for you if this is them and this is happening to you I feel like this person is pulled back this way they want answers they want to get answers about uh, what was real and what was false or uh, or about your feelings about them yeah what were your real feelings about them uh, because I see here that they felt because here's the book this is what they're hiding or the feelings they're hiding these are things that are hidden uh, and they felt that like you didn't care that's exactly what they felt they felt unappreciated I felt like you didn't care so that's what was hidden in the book these are thoughts that they had negative thoughts for some reason they they felt that way but I mean that could have simply been their perception and that's what they're questioning because of the the cups which is a card of the imagination imagined things that you know could have came from uh, previous experiences so I feel like they uh, they want they don't want this ending they're going inside uh, they're going inside going internal to um, to try to figure things out or or to try to figure a way out of this to escape this energy um, to get answers for the three swords that hang above them in the four so I kind of feel like they landed here uh, and I mean it could be that they misunderstood or miss didn't didn't see something correctly or were even led astray by something that they heard somehow this person got the wrong idea And maybe uh, they jumped the gun, they ended it abruptly, but they've changed. They seem to be uh, different now. They are now this Knight of Swords. Uh, this is somebody who's changed. They no longer wish to fight. They want to try to work out the problem. Okay. And so this is about... Um, you know uh, taking a decision to take a, a leap of faith to go back and uh, step into this unknown uh, territory uh, here and this is spinning the wheel blind you don't they don't know they're going to just go back uh, and uh, they don't know where they <laughs> where this is going to go uh, how where they're going to land uh, but they just know that they got to do it. They, ha they have to go and get these answers. Um. <clears throat> and so that action, uh, because, I mean, they don't know where it's going to land, but that action uh, might just pay off for them in the long run. So um, they didn't uh, realize what they lost till uh, it was gone. Uh, 
you were gone. It's like a this decision they took. They want to talk about uh, uh, about what happened. Um, they're preparing to have a conversation with you. They're preparing for a future event, uh, and I feel that is some reunion here and here. Both of these would speak to a reunion. Uh, this is what they want. Um, everything right now is up in the air, but they, with the magician, they have everything. Uh, they have everything it takes to be able to uh, to ground things, to put uh, or to get everything back into perspective. Um, So here we have it again. They want to talk to you. This is about uh, the restoration of a situation, of a, of a commitment. Um, I feel like uh, this may have been something that's been going on for some time that they've been thinking about. But both of these cards, it's interesting because both of these cards actually speak to a gamble, taking a gamble, rolling the dice, a leap of faith. Um, and they, it's like they're going to do it. <laughs> it's like, but they don't know how it's going to end. But they're just, they're going to do it. This uh, perfume card is also somebody who's under someone's spell. This person, uh, I feel, has also been watching you or trying to gather whatever information they could about you. Um, they've been keeping uh, certain things, feelings, the way they felt in the dark. Um, there's also regret here that is hidden from you in this book. Um, this person talks about mistakes that they made. So they do feel they made a mistake and they wish that they could right their wrongs. And I feel that they actually take the action to do that because that's what I see with the magician. Oh my God. Yeah, look, look. They're taking the action to do this, to set this right, this Four of Wands. Look, this is that reunion. This is the deepening of a relationship. It's all here. It's on the dice. It's in the cards. Right now, it's like uh, things. It could be that things were not as they appeared back here, especially with that Seven of Cups. Okay, um, and so I feel like they're just figuring that out. Or they want to. I mean, either way, this person's taking the plunge. They're, they're diving in. They're coming in. Uh, they're going to get their answers. Look. <laughs> Justice. The sun. Oh, my God. A message and there's the rider look at that so the rider brings the message and so either they're coming in for this clarity or to give clarity whatever they didn't see before they see now or this is what they're after and that makes sense with what I saw in this reading they don't want to fight or, or even to fight this connection anymore, or, or, or to fight this, res they've, this, it's like they've been holding themselves from coming back. They're not fighting that anymore. They're coming back. This person has secret feelings for you, and you're about to find out what those are. You're going to find out how they felt back then, 
and most likely that is what generated the emotion uh, that caused uh, uh, some trigger to ignite in that person. So um, you're going to find out how they felt then and how they feel now. And I feel like this person has always loved you. I don't feel they've ever stopped. I feel like they've had some traumatic experience in the past uh, which made them feel that way. There was a trigger. Um, and, I, and I feel like they kept a lot of things hidden from you or, or they were like a closed book because that book was closed so they were like a closed book which really uh, didn't help the situation so um, that is what I have for you I thank you for watching uh, for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also um, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.